Uh, my name is Frank Zimmermann. Uh, I'm Managing Director of the Center of Satellite Navigation Hessen, CESA. Hessen is a region in Germany. Uh, this center was especially uh, established uh, with the purpose of running a so-called ESA Business Incubation Center. So ESA Business Incubation Centers exist uh, essentially everywhere where you have uh, space, where space technology is being developed and uh, space systems are being uh, established. So there are countries that are members of, of ESA uh, and in these countries uh, business incubation is being fostered. The idea is that there are institutions like CESA who run these centers but they do that on behalf of ESA. So there is a common approach. We have now uh, 11 centers across nine European countries and they all have the same objective. They support uh, the use of space technology for non-space applications. I myself, I'm uh, an aerospace engineer and I'm managing the ESABIC Darmstadt here and we are at Entergeo and presenting uh, the portfolio of our companies. Yeah, the projects that are being funded, I mean, we have uh, in the order of 50 uh, incubatees that we support. Half of them are already in a so-called alumni network, so they successfully passed the incubation of uh, about two years, and they are now on the market, and the other half are, are in support. Uh, they all have in common, as I already mentioned, that they use space technologies. Uh, that can be satellite navigation, that can be satellite communication, but there can also be areas of uh, IT, uh, so it's not always very obvious. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we have one company who has developed a, a tourist guide, where you of course would assume this is uh, developed for a handheld, for a, for a, for a smartphone, uh, that it uses of course a satellite navigation position. But that's not the only space relationship. Uh, they use, for example, profiling, uh, as well as scheduling, so algorithms that uh, help uh, the tool to support uh, the tourist. So whenever a tourist goes for a trip, uh, they actually uh, are being advised by the tool how to organize the trip and, and where to go. Uh, this uh, tool is called Farol and the company is uh, Latitude M. Uh, other companies uh, simply develop clever uh, smartphone apps, but uh, each time using satellite navigation. Uh, or what is also very prominent, one of our uh, incubatees is the company Flink. They develop a, a ride-sharing platform. So you can actually organize ad hoc ride-sharing between drivers and passengers. So in common, uh, these companies uh, use satellite navigation and as we are here at Intergeo, I'm mentioning also very uh, much the uh, geo-information area that is being supported by UAVs. Uh, the company Mavinci is a former uh, ESA Big Darmstadt incubator. They have now a very big center at Intergeo themselves and they are producing uh, UAVs uh, for geo-information services. There is another company that you can find here on our stand, uh, Geomon, and they use the uh, drones to actually provide such services to their end clients. So they are more uh, focusing on the post-processing of the data. Well, uh, from, from the projects and the companies that we support, you can see two different categories. One is uh, simply using space technology, space data, and the others are really using a transfer of technology. So uh, reusing algorithms, uh, systems that have been developed for space. Uh, Cesar now, as uh, the company running the ESA Big in Darmstadt, uh, is now also the so-called technology broker of ESA for Germany. That means we are in a position to promote ESA patents, to promote ESA technology developments uh, outside the space domain and of course also vice versa. So we are not only addressing uh, startups but also established companies who would like to use space technology. We can be the point of contact for this case. And as I mentioned initially, we are just one element of a big network of 11 ESAPICs, 14 technology brokers all around Europe and all working with ESA on technology transfer from space down to Earth.